There is a lot of confusing stuff about quantum tunneling on the internet with very vicious explanations or very formal introductions with very rigorous equations. Being a student of physics, I also faced a lot of difficulties in understanding it and after reading many pages and scrolling down many YouTube videos, I extracted a very simple way to understand it. And trust me, I won't play very much with technical terms or equations, there would be just basic intuitions of quantum physics and it would be more theoretical and would be very easy to visualize. This will help me to learn about quantum tunneling. So let's just engage in the flow of knowledge about quantum physics and start this topic. To understand quantum tunneling, it is essential to understand some fundamental theories in quantum physics like Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, de Broglie wavelength and the fundamental nature of light waves. Wait a minute! I extracted a very simple way to understand it. What? What the f order? Order! Order! I wasn't lying at that time. They are just basic intuitions in quantum physics and I will help you to understand it. So, D. Broglie says that every object is related to a wave and Heisenberg told us that as the wavelength of object increases, the uncertainty of that object also increases. I'm taking the example of light wave because it is very significant and everyone knows that light is an electromagnetic wave. And we are very aware of the fact that if light falls on a surface, there are possibilities of refraction or reflection. Let's say light is falling on a glass slab. The light will refract and that refracted ray will hit the other surface of slab and if there is total internal refraction phenomena, the light wave will reflect it totally inside the glass slab. That's what we study in our previous optics days, right? But is it true that there will be a total reflection? To remove the curtains from this secret, one of the most famous scientists, James Clerk Maxwell will help us. So the founding father of electromagnetism Maxwell gives us four equations of electrodynamic waves. We just need some basic intuitions. We are not going to dig the secrets out of it. So if we use them to understand the behavior of light in a glass lab when total internal reflection is going on, in that case we will get this type of equation. And there is some amount of light that is not reflecting. It is transmitting and in this equation, let's say this is e to the power minus x and let me tell you guys, this is the culprit responsible for the further refraction of light. This result shows that there is literally no condition in which total wave reflection is possible. Just remember this, it will help us to connect the strings. So if you are watching till now, subscribe guys and don't leave, we are very close to tunneling. We were told by our classical physics that to pass the potential barrier we need to give energy to the object more than that potential but in quantum realm things are different. So till now we studied about the behavior when there is total internal refraction is going on, de Broglie wavelength and Heisenberg's uncertainty. So let's just go to the quantum realm with all the prerequisite knowledge of quantum physics. So let's just assume an alpha particle is moving between a fixed potential barrier. Remember that we are setting the potential fences. At least once in our childhood, we threw a ball on the wall and it bounced back. But when the alpha particle strikes the wall of potential barrier, most of the time it doesn't. One of the most outstanding scientists, Schrodinger, gave us the time-independent equation of waves that helps to study waves behavior in different energy barriers. So if you solve the time-independent equation in this fixed potential, the wave of graph would be like this. So when an alpha particle as a wave hits the wall, it goes like this. Like as mentioned earlier in Schrodinger's equation, so there is a probability that the alpha particle passes through the potential barrier, even if it has low energy than the potential barrier. And this transmission of particle is known as quantum tunneling. We did this, doesn't matter what anybody says, they can say it's disrespectful, they can say it's this and that, and that. everybody's within, everybody's within the rules. But after all this hard work, why it is part of our syllabus? Even it is not easy to recognize, these things are going on quantum level. But let me tell you guys, quantum tunneling is responsible for life on our earth. Due to quantum tunneling, the nuclear reaction occurs in our sun and provides sunlight for photosynthesis. 
and the future of space exploration will be based on quantum tunneling. With the help of tunneling effect, we can travel many light years in just small amount of time without even breaking the physics laws according to the hypothetical theories. But there is a lot of research that is going on to enhance it for human welfare. So there are several ways of reciting the story of quantum physics. Still, this is the simplest way I found very relevant for a typical student like me to understand. If you like this video, subscribe and comment about your experience with this type of intuitions. On that note, you know the rules.